Some of the biggest names out there, Katy Perry, Caitlyn Jenner, Bill Gates, Heather Stricker, they all have something in common. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Our resident numerologist Patricia Kirkman is here to tell us how that common denominator may be why they are so successful. Patricia, thank you so much for being here. Well, I love being here, and the nice part about this is they are successful. Take a look at yourself. Oh, oh well, I've been really excited to, to hear about this. Yeah. The Scorpio, what's the phrase, the sting of the scorpion's tail? Mm -hmm. When things are good, they're really good, but don't cross the Scorpio. <laughs> And, and that's true? Oh, yes. Yeah, definitely Most true. Most definitely. And you're very balanced. That's the nice part about it. Faithful and ambitious. Definitely ambitious. Very definitely faithful on your terms. Well, yes. we have to add that. We can't make you look too saintly. Well, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and it also makes you very intuitive. Well, this part's good. When we take a look at the weaknesses, <clears throat> there's a little jealousy that runs rampant periodically. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh -huh. <laughs> don't look at my man there, lady. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> and you're secretive. You keep a lot to yourself. You don't like people to know what you're thinking, not because you think they're going to use it. It just makes you vulnerable for what they assume. Interesting. You don't like vulnerability. That creates a problem. But you could be very resentful if somebody steps into your space and doesn't say, excuse me or thank you well that's just common courtesy patricia i was gonna say how much of this <laughs> except are if you, you're a scorpio <laughs> are you uh, connecting <laughs> you with? no i will say that a lot of that sounds mm -hmm. like me so that's really that's really interesting now what i'm what about the manipulative part not at all not at all <laughs> she's like none of the <laughs> bad we stuff ask your husband uh, <laughs> no we shouldn't <laughs> but i'm actually really especially interested in the the fact that this month is a universal one month yes and what that means for everybody for everybody it's all about fresh starts new beginnings and that's what we all need is fresh starts and new beginnings take a look at what you have been doing what doesn't fit get rid of it start working on your idea and ideals of where you want to go what you want to do with it and it gives you a chance to kind of clean out the closets shall we say mm. and it, that means when the new year gets here you're well ahead of yourself the need to lead by example will be extremely helpful because as you go forward, others will emulate what you do, especially you Scorpio, because that's the driving force of the month itself. So in this particular case, not always when a one's there, but it, it gives us so many opportunities. The one leads, the one can achieve. Even if your personal year is something other, you still have the cloak of the universal one all over you. Hmm. So it's hmm. kind of nice. I think that's interesting that, that all of this is happening right as the new year is kind of coming in. And some people wait until January 1 and mm -hmm. they start doing all that. But you're saying do it now. Start, oh, yes. the, you know, start the process of starting fresh before that January 1 magical time and date that everyone waits for. Do it now. Usually when January 1 gets here, we're all a little exhausted, worn mm -hmm. out, and sick and tired of being sick and tired. Oh, so it doesn't get the fresh start we'd like it to. So this way we get a chance to jump in ahead of time lay it out and get it going in the way we want. And actually, Absolutely. before I let you go, Patricia, let's throw up your graphic, because Heather, do you want to see who else uh, joins Definitely. you in the Scorpio? Oh, look at that. Oh, look, Drake, Drake <laughs> is on there. Katy Perry. Uh, right. Emma Stone. I love that. Leo. Leonardo. I feel like Leonardo and I are really close in that picture for a good well, reason. Which is good. And then you <laughs> take a look at Caitlyn Jenner. Talk about fresh starts and new beginnings. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you Couldn't go. ask for more than that. Great example. That's, That's very cool. Great. Patricia, thank you so oh, much. Boy. And for the great reminder, we should all start now. Definitely. And if you're in question about what the first month, Sunday of every month is a psychic fair. First Perfect. Sunday of every month. Right. Perfect. Now to schedule a reading with Patricia Kirkman and to learn more about the numbers and what they mean for you, visit patriciakirkman.com. Now stick around.